Hello everybody, this is Kiran. Today we are going to talk about priority and severity associated with any bug. So there are two important terms related to a bug, priority and severity. We will understand their differences. We will understand how many types of priority is there, how many types of severity of a bug can be there. And we will also see the combination of different types of priority and severity. So to begin with, what is a priority? What, what do we mean by priority? Uh, whenever we are raising an issue or defect or bug, we need to associate a priority to it. The term priority in itself means how soon the bug needs to be fixed. We have to decide on the timelines how soon it has to be fixed. So the priorities can be high, medium and low. There is no hard and fast rule on setting up the priority listing. It can be more as well depending on your admin of the tool which you are using but majorly we have to decide if any bug needs to be fixed ASAP we have to put the priority as high then if the bug can be fixed in a while it can be medium and if it's a small or cosmetic issue smaller issue we can keep the priority as low similarly the term severity relates to how critical the issue is we need to understand if an issue is very severe or critical we need to fix the bug as soon as possible so similarly we have different uh, levels of severity s1 s2 s3 the nomenclature can change from project to project and from application or admin to admin doesn't matter the S1 severity indicates it's a showstopper or a blocker. So the bugs or defects which doesn't lead a user to, to you know, move forward in the application or it's blocking the business flow of the application should be marked as S1 issues. Similarly, S2 high severity issues or critical issues, S3 medium severity issues and the S4 is very low severity or trivial issues can be marked as S4. So we can, uh, we have clearly understood the difference between priority and severity. Each bug needs to be assigned a proper priority and a proper severity to it. We have to also know that a bug can be high priority and of high severity at, at a time and another bug can be of high priority and low severity so this is a very commonly asked interview questions so we'll discuss about all the com combinations of priority and severities and we'll take some examples to understand what kind of bugs lie in these categories so talking about high priority and high severity issues they are very common uh, issues let's say you aren't able to log into an application so there has to be high of high priority and of high severity so they need to be fixed asap so login issues let's say we'll take an example of login issues you're not, not able to log into an application or maybe uh, the home page of the application is entirely breaking and you're not able to proceed with the application flow they all will lie into the high priority and high severity band so they needs to they need to be fixed asap without any delay p1 and s1 right now let's talk about high priority but low severity uh, how is it possible that a bug is of high priority but at the same time it's not critical it is possible uh, let's take an example wherein the company logo has been misspelled or probably the design has been uh, replaced by another design so it is certainly the severity of the bug is low because it's not affecting any of the business flows in the application but at the same time it's high priority to fix that issue because a client will be very upset to see his logo being replaced by some other diagram or probably the uh, the spelling in the logo is uh, incorrect so any issues related to client reputation or anything which is very much visible in the application will be marked as high priority but low severity because the severity is of course low it's not affecting any of the flows next let's talk about low priority and high severity there can be issues which are existent in the system and which needs to be fixed on high 
you know severity but the management has decided to defer the release of the feature so it will be released in the next build so any uh, bug related to uh, a release which will be uh, happening in future or in the next bill but is a critical uh, pointer for the application will be falling into the category of low priority and high severity issues so deferred releases then finally we talk about low priority and low severity issues any cosmetic issue in the application any trivial uh, spelling mistake or any uh, misalignment in the application will be lying under low priority and low or severity issues which can be marked as p3 and s uh, s4 probably so they are cosmetic issues majorly so we uh, clearly see the difference between priority and severity today wherein we saw that there are different levels of priorities high medium low and different levels of severity show stoppers critical medium trivial the nomenclatures can clearly differ from company to company and application to application doesn't matter but you have to understand the difference majorly then we saw how a bug can be of high priority and high severity at the same time the other bug can be of high priority and low severity also a bug can lie into low priority and high severity band at the same time a bug can be of low priority and low severity so you have to clearly mark your bugs uh, for the priorities uh, they are falling into similarly the severities uh, they lie to so if it is a high priority issue or a medium or low or high severity issue or a critical or medium or low thank you